It's live third round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational, presented by MasterCard. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. We've got a tie at the top. Meanwhile, our featured golfer just looking to post a low number here on this Saturday. Gonna work this up that left-hand side. What's he need to watch out for here, Frank? Those two front bunkers, Rich, the one that protects the left and the right. Uh, more often than not, you want to pitch the ball in the front of this green. They are the two to be concerned about. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. He has a 12-footer here. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to move him into red figures for the round and eight under for the tournament. Here at the 231-yard par three second, Frank, pretty good hole. It certainly is, Rich. The carry on the right side's a little shorter, but if you're going to take it down the left side, you've got to fly that ball at least another 20 yards. going to wind up in this front bunker here to a fairly popular place but it is deep so a bit of a daunting second upcoming yeah that'll do just fine had a pretty good run at that and par should be pretty well within reach That finished off for par here at the second. And he's going to remain at eight under. Frank, now to the third hole here at Bay Hill. If you have a case of the snap hooks, <laughs> you're in some serious trouble here. You're going to run out of golf balls here as well. But a uh, good tee shot's going to leave you something like 150, 160 yards into a very narrow green. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. He's got 135 yards to the front, 154 to the hole. Pin sitting in the back left portion of the green. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been.
Frank, you have to appreciate that. That is excellent technique right there to get right around gimme range. Should help him walk away with just a bogey. No doubt. This is such a tricky green, too, so that's very well done. That one in for a bogey here at the third. And he's going to fall out of the lead and wind up a shot back. Up next, the 561-yard uphill par 5 fourth. Creek and OB to the right. Only the biggest hitters can get home in two. Call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five frank got everything out of that yeah it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway and now a fairly straightforward third shot Okay, on the green, but that's going to leave a putt that will get your attention. Oh, yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. And that's going to move him to eight under. Frank, at the fourth, we pulled the hammer out. Here, maybe it's a scalpel? Well, it just depends. A little trailing breeze. A drive is not always a bad play here. 367 yards to the front is a little kick forward. So, wind behind your back, almost worth a go. One of the best swings of the day. Just unlucky, really. That last bounce kicked it into the first cut. So no real problems here with the lie. It's his second from that first cut. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. A look here at birdie. And if you've ever used the putting mat as a holiday gift, this is the putt. Slightly up a hill and dead straight. Yeah, there's another one. Back-to-back -back birdies here at four and five. And he's got it to two under for the round. Nine under now for the tournament. Frank, the sixth is a big, brawny par five, and it can be scary as well with all of that water. And if you're a history buff, you'll remember in 1998, John Daly made 18. Beat that? Well, you're a little better than John. What's wrong with 18? If you break it down, Frank, that's actually three pars and an eagle. By my math, that's pretty good work. But you got 17 other holes to play. That challenged a big piece of that big lake, but it is well down this sixth fairway. What a gorgeous tee shot.
at half the equation on that shot. The distance, not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept in the ballpark, and uh, let's see how good you can chip. Two good shots on this par five. Leaves that simple little chip, and that was beautifully played. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And he's in the double figures now at 10 under par. Frank, the good news as you come to the seventh after that beast of a par five is that it's just under 200 yards and there's no water. Yeah, it's not as long as the second, but it's just as demanding. Very narrow entry into this green. And that's going to be too strong. It is into one of the two back bunkers around this seventh green. Now, going to try and flop this one up there. Okay, maybe could have hoped to get it a little closer. That was not a long bunker shot, but it is uh, safely on the putting surface. Oh, he's saying, where's the turn? That didn't move nearly as much as he anticipated. That one in, it is a bogey here at the seven. And he's going to drop back to minus nine. Now at the eighth, and Frank, this really is a clever design, fun hole to play. Very pretty hole. Uh, that bunker down the left, just over 300 yards. Ideally, you just work it off that bunker. do just fine. Now note of his second from the fairway. 155 to the hole. Looking to make up for that drop shot with a birdie here. get into one of those two bunkers behind this eighth green and that is going to leave a very difficult shot coming up to a green that'll be moving quickly toward that water okay that should be inside of 10 feet not too bad eight foot putt here that one on target that one 
one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he'll fall back to eight under par. We close out the front nine at Bay Hill with a 474 yard par four. It's tough to make par from that fairway bunker on the left, so play accordingly. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill, if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. All right, partner, break down this approach shot here at the par four ninth. What you're looking at is one of the biggest greens on the, on the golf course, Rich, so it gives you a chance to be perhaps a little more aggressive than what you would normally think on a par four that's uh, just a little under 500 yards. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Here we go. This one for birdie. Oh, that one led perfectly. It is a birdie here at the ninth. And he'll go out in 34, two under par for this front side. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Well, he's looking at 120 yards remaining to the flagstick. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And this will stay a one-shot lead. On to the next, the 438-yard par 4 11. Bending around the lake on the left, but if you go too far right, fairway bunkers are in play. Now to the 11th with water left, bunkers on the right. Frank, what's the key here? Well, too often people just look at the scorecard and they go, well, it's over 400 yards, I have to hit driver. You don't have to hit driver at 11. Something in the fairway, just short of that second bunker. And it sits up, you know, six or a seven up. And that one's gonna hit hard. Get a little bit of run out, and that is gonna wind up just fine. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. And this is looking really good. Oh, just the strike, the sounder. And the ball does the rest, great shot.
back. A birdie here at the 11. Will certainly help the cause. Frank, 574 yards, par five. Scoring opportunity here. The breeze behind, once again, a reachable par five. Uh, the hardest thing about this hole really is the green. It's raised up a little bit, slopes off on either side. Impressive to get the power on that second shot into the par five and comfortably get it up here by the green. I know it's in that green side bunker, but that is very doable. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Ten foot putt left. Nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And he'll move to 11 under par. At the par 4 13th now, this is a hole, Frank, that requires some smart club selection. What are the options here? Yeah, very sneaky par 4. That bunker on the right is 250 yards or so off the tee. So you've either got a choice to play short of that or sneak it down the end, which is about 300 yards. But if you try and be bold here and miss the fairway, that second shot, evil. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rock. Big hit, though. Not in the fairway, but not a real problem here at the 13th. Getting set to play his second shot. Okay, that's acceptable there. A birdie opportunity here at 13. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Oh, yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And he gets it to 12 under par. Frank, I like a good par three over 200 yards, requiring that one good clean strike. And here's a good case in point, 216 yards, all you want. Yeah, bunk it at the back, bunk it to the left side, a little collection area to the right. So really in the end, you've got one choice. That's hit your best. Boy, that one did not want to slow down at all, and it winds up running right through the green. Those are the shots that turn what 
you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And the lead's going to remain two. Onward now to the 15th, 429-yard par four. Dogleg right, accuracy off the tee is a must. Magnolia trees guarding both sides of the fairway. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rock. Big hit, though. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15th. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. is not going to get there, but it will find a safe spot between the two front bunkers here at 15. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he's going to stay too clear of the field. We enter the final stretch with a 511-yard par 5, 16th tree and bunker trouble to the right. OB to the left it is reachable in two, but water in front of the green will punish the mishits. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. In the fairway, shouldn't be more than 200 yards to the flagstick. The beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. You'd be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot, but really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? Now this for another birdie. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And he'll move to 13 under par for the tournament. We arrive now at the 221-yard par 3 17th, a beach bunker front of the green, bunkers left and long, and water wrapping around to the right. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. 
sitting up in the short grass. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. No problems there. And it's a par here at 17. And he'll maintain that four-shot lead. Finishing hold at Bay Hill is the demanding 458-yard par four. Water to the right, OB along the entire left side. A four almost feels like a birdie here. Today. That might be the biggest of the bunch. Second shot coming now from just over 170 yards. Judge for par here at 18. That will be a third straight round in the 60s. So what a tournament it has been to this point for our featured golfer. They've opened up a commanding lead here after 54 holes. Just a good fit for the golf course. Rich, long enough, straight enough, and making the odd putt here and there, and, and it just adds up to a commanding lead. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo.